we'll pick this one. You can go that way, let's go. Let's jump in the air. channel this is the Baker's five and um, today is December the 24th right and what I'm planning to do is to I'm hungry so I'm gonna go try see if we can cook some food at least some aki and um, uh, let me see what I feel for today mm. Fifth is some ackee. Mm, fifth is some corned beef. Fifth is something nice. So, right now, I am just gonna check this ackee tree and see what I can pick and make myself some food. Alright, because trust me, I am all up hungry right now. Alright, what are you guys doing for your New Year's Eve? I know back in Jamaica now we'll be preparing for Grand Market and all of that stuff, right? But guys, um, I'm here and I'm right under the Aki tree right now, if you see. Right under the Aki tree, right there. So, I don't know. I, I can see one Aki up inside the tree there. One Aki. So, I'm going to see if I can pick it and see if... I can cook some food. You know, it's five of us, so I doubt it can share. But I love Aki, so what I'm going to do is to see if I can do Aki for myself and then prepare something for the family. I mean, you know, the girls they love Aki, yes, but yeah, I'm gonna try something. All right, the last time I think it was yesterday, wife read the tree. She, um, so I'm not sure if how many I can find, but I, oh. I think I see about three. I'm gonna show you. So, so guys, if you look there, uh, so guys, if you look there is one there, and there is another one there, right there. One should be somewhere up inside there. Yeah, see it's peeking out on me there. Yeah. Woo! I see Aki. I see Aki. So this is a nice Aki tree. It's been, I mean, I've been reaping from it over a few months now. And trust me, I can say that it's really good tasting. I would say it's more like of a butter Aki. I see one upside there. There's another one right there. There's another one right there. I don't know if you can see it, but and there's another one somewhere. Oh, where it is, where it is, where it is there. Oh guys, it's so beautiful. Alright, so yes. Oh so, I'm getting myself prepared for these Aki. Yeah, I have a stick. At the last time I climb it, I almost break my arm. Because I mean, put on a few pounds over the little time 
I think it was October, November, October, um, October, November. So, you know, I'm getting a little bit weighty, guys. So, yes, cool. So, I'm going to pick my Aki them and show you what next, all right? So, soon come. So, guys, I have to carry this ladder. Okay, I have to bring this ladder with me because some some of the Aki in the tree, I, I'm not able to reach it. So, I can carry this ladder and I'm not climbing the tree. I'm not climbing the tree this time. I get my stick, so my stick here. So what I do with my stick, I normally itch it here. So it almost like it blending like the tree. It blends in just like the tree. So nobody would even know that there's a stick here because it looks just like that. It's a smart thing. I don't want nobody to get rid of my aki. Alright, so we'll pick this one. Can't go that way, they go. They jump in the air, I don't know. Guys, it's a legend has it that if you if you are on the Aki tree, right, you just laugh and the Aki will open. You think that will happen? All right, comment down in this in the comment section below. Tell me if you what you think about it. All right, so let me try. Ha 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 ha. Any hockey opening? Eh? Eh? Why are you laughing at me? Ha 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 I don't believe one thing about that. That's not right. If I could just get one more of that. One more. I'm so hungry. I really need hockey. Hockey, hockey, where are you? Where are you? I know me. Haki Haki, where are you? Where are you? I don't know this one. Oh, uh, see? I see one. A mew. Oh, so the birds are the one that is picking out the Haki. Who seems to be? Come to daddy. Come 
Alright. How much we got? Four? Four we got, Joe? We got four. I don't step back and see if I see anything. guys as I said that Joe not gonna get any of my Aki just only me so if I get like four Aki which is about each Aki has three pegs right some some Aki's have like four pegs in it alright so these Aki they have three pegs so for three is 12 12 Aki for me that's a good amount yeah Maybe maybe can't find one or two inside the house here. So it's just only for me and my big tummy. Alright? Mean. Okay. Alright. I think I think that's it. So let me put back my steak. This tree is so full, so I give this tree about the next week or so. So at this time, I'm going to set the pot on, um, this is how I'm going to get the hockey clean up. So this is rice that I'm going to be cooking, cooking some white rice. So while I'm at it now, um, I have to take out this black seed out of the hockey and to clean out in the middle. Alright, this is how we prepare hockey. Alright, and um, yeah, so we just get a knife and we prepare out this part out of the hockey. Alright, one thing to say that the red thing in the hockey, that um, it's not really good to eat. The poison of the hockey is actually the seed itself, right? the black sea that is um, it is toxic all right so it, that is a, the poison part of the hockey and also we when hockey is closed it's still poisonous because it still has that built up gas in it so we have to wait until the hockey is open fully right in order for it to be um, used or edible all right so I'm here now washing these um, tomatoes like to use tomatoes um, in my hockey and such like that whenever i'm doing like seasoning stuff i like to use my vegetables and such like that so clean these pots up and um getting ready right i put a little salt in the pot because this is now i have to get my hockey ready all right and um while that just set aside here i'm gonna be washing some rice now all right and I mean, you, would, you can use measuring cup to, to measure the amount of rice that you need. But I have my own techniques and my own method of how I wash my rice. So I always want to wash my rice because when I wash my rice, I will get all of those starch, starch, starch out. <laughs> all right. I get the starch out um, of the rice. I have a little tongue twister there. All right. And I, I wash it until it is clean 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 the rice looks so white and clean all right because most of these rice they come in straight from the field and they go through all these machines you have to wash it really to get rid of some sometimes bugs are in the rice sometimes wheat and stuff like that so make sure you wash your rice all right so while i'm here setting these up now i have a little problem with my camera here so this is the rice pot. I have I have my water in already. So this is how I put my rice in. All right, and this I can measure my rice like this. Once I make I put in my rice and it's up to the the level of the water, then I know that I have enough water in the pot to make my rice really comes out all shelly and nice. All right, but I don't like soft rice. All right, so while this is there, 
getting you know it's bath the rice bath <laughs> just made it start because the reason why you start you have to start because once you put in the rice and depending on the heat of the fire sometimes the rice may be stick at the bottom so i have to stir it up to loosen up the grains all right and i will just leave this here for just a few minutes rice takes about 10 to 15 minutes depending on the temperature of the fire all right so i have to stir and such like that all right and um, let me see now put my salt in uh, you, you might be wondering why so much salt but it's not too much salt and the reason why i put that amount of salt because later on when the rice dry out when the water is dried out of the rice then i have leftover water to sprinkle on the on the rice so the rice can steam all right so once you do that then if you don't have enough salt in it it might taste fresh and such like that so i put a little butter and what the butter does to the rice it allows the rice grain to not stick into each other so that's how we get a shelly shelly rice all right if you cook rice and some people cook rice and they don't put butter some people put oil in it so it I prevent the, the grains from sticking to each other and also sticking to the bottom of the pot all right so while this is here just give it a little stir yeah mm. I got all of these eat yeah give it some stir mm -hmm. yeah make sure you stir it you can start as as much as you can just to, to get those grains move around all right so you don't have no stickiness inside all right so cover yeah get that all right so make sure you cover your pot everything is good so leave it there for about five minutes all right so getting my my tomatoes sliced up yeah i love my tomatoes yeah i love them it's it makes your season yeah you know really nice and onions nice chopping the onions really good give that pot a nice flavor all right so this is actually two type of um, meat. Well, in, in, in our terms, we always say meat because I'm doing hockey and I'm also doing tin mackerel. All right, and the tin mackerel is a fish in the can and I'm doing a, um, let me just check this spot for a while. Look at this rice. Wow, it is so, 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 so good. So at this stage now, the rice is like three quarter cooked. It's still a little bit hard because it needs to steam out to get that really, really, really soft but whole shelly grain of rice. All right, so I gauge my fire down a little just to keep the pot steaming. All right, so over here now we have like the hockey, it's getting boiled. Depending on the type of hockey, so we have butter hockey and all different types of hockey, so we can give them. So, where we have our cows, um, mackerel this macro here now um, not I'm not promoting anyone so right I love to use cuts right markers is really good um, chunky marker so I'm gonna this pot is for that and I'm gonna leave the pot here to really get hot this is how you you fry stuff all right you have to let the pot hot before you put oil in it because make sure your pot is dry before you you ever put oil in it because then you will have you know oil splashing and all of that okay so i'm going to be pouring my oil now yeah and you can measure to how many oil you want right and so i just normally pour enough so you know when i pour my mackerel in it will be good all right yes yeah, so my vegetable now i will be putting in now yes so the oil is ready hot i mean when you're doing vegetable it doesn't matter how hot the oil is but i like I like when my oil burn a little. I like when my oil burn a little, so you know, to get that flavor. Right? So in here we have like um, sweet peppers, um, tomatoes, and um, onion. Alright, so that's the best thing of it. Um, so just leave this here for about a minute to get soaked into and uh, marinate into this oil a little. Alright? Look at that. Wow. It's so 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 good looking good and it smells good too really really good all right so let me check my pot here look at this rice this is what you call a shelly 
a grain of rice. So the rice right now is in a steaming um, stage here. All right, you still need to steam out a little because I mean the bottom maybe you know hard enough, like a whole grain enough, but the top needs to get a little bit more steam. All right, so I'm gonna cover it and leave it for a while. All right. And, but I can add a little bit water. Let me add a little bit more water to it just to bring up a little bit more steam in it. All right. Yeah. Uh, let me see now. Yeah. Over here. Okay, good. So putting in my mackerel. Right. And one thing I like about these mackerel, they are huge chunks of mackerel. Right. And, um,. What I like about my mackerel is that I do not like the bones in the mackerel. So for me, I just have to get a fork. Let me get a fork here. And I have to take out the bones, right? The belly of the small fish, right? I don't like the taste of it. I always like to take them out. It makes my, my mackerel taste really good. All right, and these are already cooking the thing, so we don't need to do a lot of um, cook it too long, but just to make sure that everything's soaked together and mixed together. All right, you yeah, take that out, the skeleton. Yeah, don't like it. Yeah, so take that out. Yeah, a little bit. You're fighting it. Yeah, get that out. And this one here. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Come on, there you go. Right, yeah. Okay, yeah. This is like yours. It's like I'm scaling a fish that is already cooked. <laughs> you can imagine. Yeah, that's how it goes at times. All right, so there you go. Now I just have one more left to go. One more. Left. I just love doing this. And anybody that cooks mackerel for me, um, once this is in it, I'm not going to eat it. And I can identify it just right away. I do not like the taste. Especially when the bones reach in your mouth and you feel that crunchy taste. You know, it turns me off. So I really, 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 really don't like that part. So let me just stir up. And the reason why I'm stirring up, I'm trying to get all these um, sweet peppers and, you know, the yeah tomatoes together and such all right yeah good i have to turn this fire down for the um the the hockey yeah so we're good to go here ah uh, yes mm -hmm. oh my hockey is ready wow this is soft and i can cook it soft as much as i can so i got that ready i'm gonna just take this water out the stream we call it stream the water off the hockey all right so just let me cut up some season for it right now so the way i had two different cutting of season, season like the the tomatoes for the the the, the mackerel you know i'm cutting up for my hockey and i'm just doing it in the same pot because i mean it's not much so i just put a little butter into it right i don't like to use oil in i can use oil in hockey but when i'm cooking um, plenty of hockey I use for it. Alright, so are you ready to see what my macro looks like? Let me check it over there. Wow, look at that. Wow, this is so, 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 so rich. Look at that color. Alright, yes, it's, and as I said, this is just a quick meal. Alright, so let me store my hockey now. Whoa, look at that. Wow, this is old. Uh, I do not like black pepper, but if I'm doing it for someone, I will put black pepper on it. And, and a little season because but I am allergic to black pepper I don't like it much and it let me sneeze a lot so I just let it be in a plain hockey right so guys we are done here now the cooking is done time for voila look at that rice that rice is so 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 wonderful look at it Woo. This can heat oh, just like it is right now. Just eat it as it is right now. The butter with taste and you know, wow, this is just a nice shelly rice. You know, it's not soft. It's just just right. You know, right way to be done. You can feel the grains. You can see the grains. Yeah. And here goes your dish, guys. And this is white rice, tin mackerel. With a little side of hockey on it. Because as I said, I love my hockey. 
I love my hot leaf. So this is a beautiful, beautiful dish. I know you will enjoy doing something like this. I hope you like this one. All right, cool. Thanks. All right, guys. So I finish up my food now. Um, so I'm gonna go right into it and enjoy it. It's just a little quick, quickie, quickie food. <laughs> All right. So it's very easy, simple. About 15 to 25 minutes, I can have a meal. All right, 15 to 25 minutes, right. You understand? No matter what you're cooking, you can just make something simple and quick on the go, right? So this is just a simply, simple um, little dish here that I do. All right, so I'm gonna enjoy some food. See you soon. Um, my sister-in-law, she just arrived and she's right down there and she's asking for dinner so she came on the right time when the pot just come off all right so lucky she she got hot meal all right so see you soon and having some more videos coming out please remember to like share and subscribe share this video with a friend all right simple something to do all right so share it and please remember to comment down below all right anna where you say what them fiddle tell them what them fiddle And I said comment down below if you like the video. Alright people, see you soon. Out and out.